friendlies. I'm Sam, social worker with Kids Uncomplicated. There's an old saying from a Greek philosopher that goes, the only constant in life is change. I think we can all agree that the amount of change that has occurred over the last few months has been really difficult to keep up with and adjust to. Now that we're heading into a new school year, there's a million questions about what the next few months might look like. So I have five ideas to share with you about how you can prepare for a change. Number one is to make a list of things that you can control and things you can't control. Then choose a small manageable goal from the can list, such as giving a compliment to each of your family members once daily or remembering to floss your teeth. Number two is routine. Focus on things that haven't changed and are very unlikely to, such as having baths before bedtime, playing in the yard before supper, or talking about your highs and lows of the week every Friday. Number three is family values. Every family has values, but maybe you've never talked about them. Doing so can promote a sense of family unity, creativity, and stability for your children. When a big change occurs, you can talk about how you're going to embody these values while you adjust to the change. Number four is, you guessed it, self-care. Build your repertoire of accessible self-care practices that you can do even if you're stuck at home, such as at-home yoga, quick mindfulness exercises, cooking your favorite meal, or a weekly phone call check-in with a friend. And on that note, number five is monitor your mental health. Watch for symptoms of anxiety and depression. They're incredibly common right now. Make a plan for how you might access mental health care when you need it and talk to your support people about that plan. I'll leave you with another quote about change. John C. Maxwell says, change is inevitable, growth is optional. Thank you.